Welcome everybody to the spring semester. Uh, my studio offering is called the Parliament of Things. And this studio brief is to design a hypothetical Parliament of Things in Washington, DC, as we extend political rights across boundaries of human classes, castes, races, and genders. We are at the critical moment to extend rights to animate and inanimate systems and ecological and material systems. Um, in this compelling scenario, how would a political space look like? And the studio is to investigate this and will rethink with influential political and moral theorists of today, including Latour, Harmon, Morton, Bennett, and Julian, in response to the deep-rooted but deeply anthropocentric uh, classical political theories of John Locke and Thomas Jefferson. Architecture has played a crucial role in actualizing legislation, an amphitheater, a bully terrain, a council chamber, a senate, a parliament, and a house of representatives. This studio imagines a very different kind of political space that is not entirely focused on perpetuating the hubris of human invincibility. The studio will have two components, an installation entitled Distributed Agencies that uh, makes apparent agential powers of biological lives and material systems, and then hypothetical design of a, a building, a set of buildings, landscape or material systems um, as a parliament of things that reorientates the um, daily political negotiations. Principles and typologies of design disciplines will be rethought, questioned, but the studio will sustain a high level of rigor in the resolution and presentation of designs and material systems. These designs are intended to bring innovative and compelling futures of new equalities and to think outside the untenable idea of appropriating capitalist systems as our proxy social structures. The studio anticipates a variable ecological foundation for a new politics with representatives of all things on earth. The central question here is really this one, how does a political space look like when we share rights with entities other than humans? So we're gonna do it in two, sections and the first which takes about one third of the semester uh, is an installation. The assumption is that all of you will produce an installation in the spaces of study wherever you are. We'll then present all the installations together as a website uh, you design. Uh, the pictures showing the installation uh, from last year when a human interaction where possible. I'm looking forward to um, the time when we can do this again, but this year we have to do it in this um, uh, specific way. Uh, let me show you a couple of examples uh, from last year's installation. This is Claire's Yamba Nike looking mirror that decenters the human vision. And this is Shan's machine that records its own history. Uh, this is Lydia's installation that, that uses Taylor's patterns, uh, which is a reflection of somewhat the perfect bodies, uh, against the kind of actual bodies of her friends and that she measured. And it's, it's the actual body is the, the blue pattern that you see, and the Taylor's pattern is the one that's printed uh, on top. This is Danny's somewhat humorous installation on the affordance of a cup or, or uh, the undermining of the affordance of a cup. Uh, this is Shinghan's optical illusion that challenges human perspective uh, and perception. And DC, as you know, is a city of perspectives. And uh, uh, these are not made of blocks, but thin pieces of paper kind of moves as, as you walk around the installation. Uh, Kate's uh, what I would call a self 
reflexive door. Uh, it was a, an old French door she found and reconstructed as a way to question the archetypal human, non-human barrier making, uh, which is really the door, which is pretty central to all architecture. Sam's uh, craters and reflective poles that reconstructs fragmented images. And these images are printed on the surfaces of the, the crater and then they only make sense as reflections um, on the poles. And this is Lawrence Loom, a traditional Indian technique of weaving, uh, but uh, she took that technique and then wove materials into it uh, as a way to um, give materials a different place in, in uh, art making. And this is Andrea's cold air machine, an electronic device that generates heat and coldness, um, the refrigeration, otherwise known as, uh, something that uh, questions of prevalent use of artificial modification of air that uses an enormous amount of energy and produces an enormous amount of greenhouse gases. Uh, here are some examples uh, of uh, the project. The project is approximately uh, 100,000 square feet of constructed area. Um, the site is located in Washington, D.C., between Washington Memorial and Jefferson Memorial, as you can see from the satellite photo. Um, it is very central, very contested. Uh, here's some examples. Uh, Jawa's exploration of the gray zones between wet and dry. Constructed along the axis from Jefferson Memorial to the White House uh, as a set of uh, um, conditions of dryness and wetness uh, related to different kinds of um, uh, systems and life, biological lives uh, on the site. Sam's title assembly recreates the original ecology of wetlands and then shapes the political. Uh, space uh, to embrace it. And here's a conceptual model at the beginning of the project. Uh, Chi Yao's approach is to uncover the original geology of the site before the reclamation. As we know, DC, a part of a large part of the National Mall was a result of the reclamation. And she digs into the site and, um, and, and really review. Uh, different layers, and here's another view of the project. Kate's approach is very ambitious, is to return to one of the earliest imaginations of political space, the arc, using primary geometry uh, that she geometries that she found on the site and 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 reconstructing um, or reconstituting an open space for more inclusive. Um, politics. Cheryl's project is about what lies outside the human vision spectrum. We only use a small range and animals use much larger uh, range of uh, uh, colors and, and uh, so, so their vision is more extended than ours. And her project here introduces an immersive experience through colors um, and the parliament is designed like a gigantic a viewing platform for DC through this colored um, uh, surfaces. Chan's project begins with the Greek idea of autoporesis and the ability of systems to self produce or self reproduce. Architecture through tectonics can be seen as such a system in exploring degrees of design. And rather than function specific design, she ended up with an infrastructure of shared and flex flexible use. The parliament space is inclusive and open, open minded, and it reframes the reframes, re investigates, or rethinks the use specific design principles uh, that we have all taken for granted. Design is never neutral. Every form of prejudice has spatial designs to facilitate it. 
It is our turn to get the design right. I look forward to working with you in this semester. Thank you.